Now, President Barack Obama is more than halfway through his first 100 days in office, a period when new presidents traditionally are evaluated on their effectiveness. VOA's national correspondent Jim Malone has more from Washington. I, Barack Hussein Obama, do solemnly swear. From the very beginning, Barack Obama promised an ambitious presidency. Today, I say to you that the challenges we face are real. They are serious and they are many. They will not be met easily or in a short span of time. But know this, America, they will be met. Mr. Obama's first priority was addressing the weak U.S. economy. So far, his major achievement has been passage of his economic stimulus plan. Jeremy Mayer is a presidential expert at George Mason University in Virginia. Divorce from whether it's a good idea or not, passing that stimulus package politically is a major achievement. Uh, it is, some presidents go their whole four years without ever doing anything as big as that. But Republicans largely oppose the stimulus plan, arguing it costs too much. In news conferences and in debate, lawmakers like Senator Lamar Alexander have questioned the president's plan to simultaneously tackle complex issues like health care, education reform, and energy. Presidents have many problems to solve, but no one ever suggested that the wisest course is to try to solve them all at once. It's a view the president is quick to reject. I know there are some who believe we can only handle one challenge at a time. And we don't have the luxury of choosing between getting our economy moving now and rebuilding it over the long term. Presidents have been evaluated on their first 100 days in office since the time of Franklin Roosevelt in the 1930s. Roosevelt took office at the height of the Great Depression and embarked on a frenzy of economic activity right after his inauguration. Let me assert my firm belief that the only thing we have to fear is fear itself. Roosevelt temporarily closed the banks and created government programs to put Americans back to work. And it was a whirlwind of activity. Never has so much been done for so many in such a little amount of time. Some experts see parallels between President Obama and President Roosevelt. Georgetown University scholar Stephen Wayne says Mr. Obama has been walking a fine line between optimism and realism on the economy. Because in one sense, he's got to be realistic. And he can't say, well, you know, if you pass this bill next month, happy days will be here again. On the other hand, people want hope. Traditionally, the first 100-day period is seen by many experts as important because it often determines whether a new president gets off to a fast start with the American public. Presidents, particularly in crises, have a brief window to move because the question is, at what point do these massive problems become their fault? Obama is still, according to the polls, uh, in the lucky position of being president during crisis that he's not yet responsible for. Though his focus has been largely on the economy, Mr. Obama is also making his mark on foreign policy. The president has set a deadline for the withdrawal of most U.S. troops from Iraq and has decided to send an additional 17,000 soldiers to Afghanistan. Mr. Obama has also set in motion the closure of the terrorist detention facility at Guantanamo Bay, Cuba. The polls show public approval for Mr. Obama personally, but in recent weeks, less enthusiasm about some of his policies. Jim Malone, VOA News, Washington. Now, joining me to talk more about President Obama's first days in office and the issues he faces is VOA's political correspondent, Jim Malone. Hello, Jim. Hi, M. Diake. So what are those policies that the public does not support at this point? Well, it's not a question of not supporting. It's more that I think the public wants to see some results on the economy. Uh, they're a little unsure if the president's plans are going to work. And, of course, that's the number one uh, question for the American public and the number one challenge for Barack Obama. He would like to see some good news on the economy. There has not been a lot of it anytime soon. Uh, but, again, the public, I think, is willing to give him time. And right now, that's perhaps his greatest asset. Now, how long will the public wait? As you said, his approval rating is still pretty high, but once these is policy issues are not really resolved, how soon before they start eating into his 
ratings. Well, that's what we really don't know. And of course, the president was on a uh, television comedy show last night, a late night uh, talk show with Jay Leno. So he's trying to connect with the public, trying to reassure them uh, that he has their best interests at heart. And again, urging patience. He was at two town hall meetings in California as well this week, trying to get the public to stick with him. So far, they seem to be. But of course, he has Republicans out there uh, basically condemning his plan and wanting to go in a different direction. So he's being buffeted from all sides. That's the great challenge for this president right now. Jim, your package talked about the, um, the efforts or his foreign policy where it comes to Iraq, Afghanistan, and um, of course the closing of the Guantanamo Bay. And we know that Secretary uh, of State Hillary Clinton has made a trip to Asia, meaning obviously that's a high priority for the Obama administration. But what about Africa? What's going on on that front? Do you know? Well, of course, Secretary of State Hillary Clinton is the lead person in foreign policy at the moment. This week, we did have the appointment of a special emissary on the issue of Sudan. So this administration is targeting specific foreign policy areas where there's conflict and, uh, you know, an urgency to address a crisis. And one of those areas is Sudan. We would expect more in the future, but don't forget, I know the expectations have been terribly high uh, with this president's African roots, but he has so much on his plate right now. He's basically delegating all of foreign policy to Hillary Clinton, and he has to square, squarely focus on the economy because that's why he was elected, and that's what people expect him to deal with right off the bat. Now, Jim, I know that we're su supposed to be discussing the first 100 days. We're into day 60 as it stands. Really, how realistic is um, the public's expectation that so much can be achieved within that short time? Well, of course, in one sense, it's crazy to expect to turn things around within the first 100 days, perhaps even within the first year. Uh, but of course, in the culture we live in, with the media clamoring for action and the public sort of fed into that, there is a public expectation that since he took office with all the hope involved, that he'll be able to turn it around quickly. We'll see how that goes, but it's just a function of the modern day presidency. You have to deal with these immediate demands. Well, thank you so much, Jim Malone, VOA National Co Political Correspondent. You look great up there on the roof. <laughs> Thanks, MGF. All right, see you again soon.